before I start chatting, let's see if we are up and running live in the groups. So I know then to chat away or if I'm only talking to myself. At the moment, it looks like I'm talking to myself. Um, come on, Facebook. Are you sharing me live yet? Or are you not? Ah, yes, you are sharing me live. That's good. Thank you very much. That's just what I want. Thank you. Right, welcome, welcome, welcome. As you can see, I've moved. Um, you may have seen in my Facebook posts already um, that over the weekend, well, last week, my autumnal and winter ambient lighting arrived. My goodies arrived. And over the weekend, all of everything was taken off my desk and removed and uh, monitor and monitor stand was moved and my lighting was set up so the whole thing's moved now so i'm in the corner of my desk so you can see my shelving but also my messy arty desk there now so please don't look at that that's just a mess um, i'll have to make a note of that now in future to have that nice and tidy before i go live that or I might drag my monitor around so I've got the old visual of my cabinet, I think. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome to joining me today um, on this not so nice weather wise day here. It was lovely this morning, but it's now gone. Um, yuck. Um, so I'm just killing a bit of time just to let everybody, you know, who wants to come on, come on to me live today and join me. Um, before I start talking away but what I'm doing today is talking about building your client list in today's Tuesday business tips on my live talking about your list now some of you may be building a list already some of you may not be some of you may be querying why that I need to build a list but what I want to talk to you today is about building your list because this is what um, I'm covering in the monthly module for the Academy members today. Yes, excuse me, I'm cold in you. Um, this is what um, we've got for the monthly module um, in the, for the Academy members um, this month. And what we've been going through or what they go through with their workbook is all about um, creating um, their list and why what for and ideas and suggestions so this is just some of it i'm going to um cover in here today just to see if you know whether you're doing this yourself so why you do you want to you know create a list well for a start if you've got social media accounts and you've got lots you may have hundreds you may have thousands of people here on facebook on instagram that follow you do you ever send them over to your website to sign up for a newsletter or sign up for a freebie or to make some connection over there do you do that because my my the point of asking is that if suddenly your social media went whether it's instagram whether it's facebook or whatever and you suddenly lost your account where would all those people go where would they be able to find you so this is why it's great having this but this should be a path to your website and to you this should be one of many paths marketing pillars um, that we go through this is um, also covering this um, in the newsletter um, that goes out that's going to be going out later um, but it's all about the relationship building so they see you here on social media there may be some videos there may be your social media post posts and they're thinking to themselves oh well this therapist is local to my area I like that she does back massage or I like that she does um, reflexology, EFT, um, Boeing technique, whatever. Um, you know, she she's providing therapies that I'm interested in or she's talking about stuff I'm interested in, whether it's menopause, whether it's pains, whether it's sleeplessness, whether it's hormones, emotions, whatever. They're giving that interest. Now, they still might not be close to buying yet. Some people yeah we'll go in google search look for the therapist and ring up straight away and that's what google my business is for is to attract those type of people but there might be people that are looking around that don't just want you yet but they're interested in what you're doing they might be interested in you know talk, look, finding out more information about menopause or finding more information about hormones 
or you know they may have suffered bad back a while ago and they're thinking oh yeah but she's talking but I, I was struggling with that so it could be all these things that um that you're getting and that you know that you're getting a, a reaction to um and it might be that as i said they're not at that book in that appointment stage but they might want to know more so that's why from that social media you send them over to your website so they can find out more about you you can relationship build with them and keep them engaged because what you're doing you're putting them on that path you're putting them on that path to finding you once they found you you're then leading them on a customer journey it's almost like a funnel remember what we've talked about and um, you may have heard about sales funnels and it's one of those things that you go oh, no i don't do that don't do sales don't do sales funnel but that's a funnel is when you're leading them either to signing up for your newsletter or you're signing up for your freebie or coming over to your website to have a look at your prices and your treatments that's a sales funnel that's what you're doing there is taking your client on that journey um so what i want you to make sure of and um, when you're thinking about doing um your newsletters if you're not doing them yet if you're not building your client list um what i want you to think about first is you know what your message is and your audience so who's your ideal client and who's your audience what are you going to be talking about in these newsletters in these connections in these blogs whatever the issue that you're going to create get the clarity on your message and your ideal client or your message and your ideal audience that you want to be talking to because if you're just talking generally not many people pick up on a general they really sort of want to think that they want to listen to you they want to hear you they want to read what you're saying so that's why um, you have that knowing your clarity and your message what do you want people to experience when they read your newsletter is it sharing tips with them is it um you know sharing helpful advice is it showing empathy is it listening to what people say so you're answering their problems what is it that you want people to experience as they need the newsletter? Also, um, what um, I want you to think about is that when it's not the freebie, so, you know, if they're signing up for like seven steps to stress relief or um, 14 steps to yoga, um, office exercises, whatever, you know that's the na that's the latest step and that's what we're working on on a monthly module we're working that further on in the workbook but this is not the bit that i'm on about this is just the relationship building with your newsletter this is what you know what you what what i want you to to think of and to, to concentrate on again what you're going to work out and this is what we do in the monthly module is you work out then what you know what you're going to be putting in there how you're going to do your freebie sign up um doing the sign up for who's going to be the email marketing provider something like mailchimp or MailerLite. setting up your thank you form doing the confirmation form your welcome page everything that comes up there um thinking about the headings the titles of how you're going to get those people to click and read your newsletter um what you're going to say in there how you're going to keep them engaged what ideas you got this is all that we work through it is simple just to set up well sorry i'm saying it's simple but there is some thought that needs to go in you can't just say oh i'm going to do a newsletter you need some thought to go into it and what you're going to put in there what people it's going to attract how you're going to keep them engaged whether you've got any call to actions on there what you want them to do whether it's offers that you're putting in the newsletter anything like that but that's what you're doing is taking them from your social media you're taking them over to your website and to sign up for your newsletter you want them to be not to say saying looking forward to it but maybe you want to send this newsletter out fortnightly maybe you want to send this newsletter out monthly i know a therapist that send it quarterly and or every other month and i get a bit concerned of whether they're keeping people engaged when they're receiving it like that and i know people are getting a lot of um emails um and it's whether they're reading them or not and that's where you've got to work at it 
that's where you've got to know who your ideal client is whether you've got to then get the title right so that people go oh actually i want to read that they'll click on it to open that's the main thing that that you're getting um you know you can look at your percentages then to see how many is actually is actually reading them how many is actually clicking the, the links so you can see if your newsletters are working or not because you might have people there who read your newsletters for three years or more and then finally book you never know those people that read in your le newsletters might forward that on to a family member or a work colleague and that person actually books with you is always the biggest circle there's always that networking and those connections so I want you to think about that. Are you actually creating a newsletter? Are you actually building your list and sending people from here over to your website to get to know you more, to build that relationship more? So they know more about you and what you do, what you provide, how you can help and how you can support them. Let me know if you've got a newsletter sign up, share the link below so that we can see these newsletters and we can, you know, maybe sign up for them or if it's something that we think will benefit a client that we can share it with our clients to say i think this would be good for you to follow up follow up and sign up especially if it's something that you don't provide but do share your um, newsletter links be below because there might be a couple of us there that have got clients or ourselves that need to sign up because we could all do with some help so i hope that helps today as i said we're sharing more in the in the academy in the membership with working on the monthly module and building those lists and how to build them, what we're creating for them, how we're keeping people engaged. But I just wanted to tap in today just to see um, if you are building your lists yourselves. And I'll speak to you another week. Have a good week and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.